First, we're going to open the GoTalk Now app. It should open in this page, but it may also open up in the player, which would look like the pages that you've created for your communicator to use. Now, if you can't figure out how to edit from here, it's because the house in the lower left-hand corner is green, which means that you are in communication mode, not editing mode. So hold the house down for eight seconds and it should jump back to the start menu that you saw at the beginning of the video. Now, to begin editing the books, select Page Editor. Now we've gone back to the same page, but you'll notice in the lower left-hand corner, the horse house is now orange. And that is how you know that you're in editing mode. Now that we're in editing mode, we can do several things. We can add pages, edit buttons, move pages around, or add buttons to the quick vocabulary. Right now we're going to add a new page. The page button is this multiple layered looking button down in the lower right hand corner. When you tap on it, it will give you the list of pages that are currently in your book. If you tap edit, you can rearrange these pages by grabbing onto the three bars on next to the right of each title and moving the page around in the order. You can also delete a page by tapping the red circle to the left of the title. When you're done rearranging, press done. To add a new page, in the upper left hand corner, tap the plus button. And this will bring up a menu of options for creating a new page. So we can um, use a template or we can use um, a predetermined set, like a keyboard page, a blank scene page, or a blank button page. If you already know the words that you want to add, you can use the page wizard, which is what we'll use right now. If you tap page wizard, you can name the page. So for example, food one. You can choose to add images from the library, um, but if you have custom images, just choose none. We're not going to do an express page because we are just going to use um, four buttons. And then for this, if you type words under um, each button, it will create a button for that word. So let's say mac and cheese, turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes. Okay. Hit done. It created a page with four buttons with the words that we placed in the list. If I tap the pages button again, you'll see that this page was automatically placed at the bottom of the pages list and it's called food one, which I named in the settings. To alter the page name, you would click on the page name down at the bottom. It lets you change it. It lets you also change the font by hitting set font where you can determine the size and the type. You can also add an image by hitting the icon button and you can choose to do an internet search or something from the GoTalk library or take a photo or something from your photo library. If we do, it brings up a, U, a bar where we would type in a word. So I can just type food, press search. It's going to search Google images and there'll be a whole selection here. If I don't see what I want, I can try a different one like Thanksgiving since these are kind of Thanksgiving foods. Choose your picture that you want and it places it next to the title. To save it, you'd press the done button in the lower right hand corner 
And now the bottom of the page has food one and the picture that I had. Let's start by editing something. So on this more button, instead of more, I'd like it to say maybe. So I'm just going to click on the button. It's going to expand the button. And then each of these colored buttons around the border of the button are our editing buttons. So first I'd like to change the button text. So down in the bottom middle, I'm going to select button text. The first field is what the button reads. So I'm going to erase it and then type maybe and then select done on the keyboard. In this button text window, I can also adjust the size of the text, the text font, the text color, and whether or not it has a drop shadow. I would say the drop shadow is probably distracting. Once you're done editing your button text, just select the button text button again. Now, if you touch the screen and the word, you can move this uh, text wherever you'd like. You can always use pinch zoom to change the size of the text as well. You can also add an image to the button. So right next to button text in the bottom center is add image. You can add an image from the GoTalk library, internet, a photo, that you're taking directly now or from your photo library. Let's do Go Talk Image Library. I'm going to type in question. I'm thinking I'd like a question mark. Maybe this person. Now it inserts the image, and again, you can zoom in or zoom out using the pinch uh, finger gesture. Then I adjust my text. Okay, so there's my button so far. You can also change the background color in the lower left-hand corner where it says background. I'm going to keep it white, but I'll just click through a few options. You can change the border color using the border button. I'll just select red to match the color of my text. And then up in the upper um, buttons, you can choose an action. This is what the button will do when you click on it. So it's not very intuitive, but this top bar is a slider. And normally what you're going to have is text to speech. And you type in this little line what you'd like the button to say when it's read out loud. Maybe. Preview, maybe. You can also jump to a specific page in the book, which we'll use later. You can bring up a media player, go to a website, control a hue light bulb, or even play a video on YouTube. Once I've um, selected my action, I just click on the action button again. And we're going to ignore audio cue and after action and press done, which is in the lower right hand corner with a little floppy disk next to it. Okay, so there's my maybe button. Now to test this out, I'm going to press the orange house. I'm going to go to the player, because now we want to test it. You'll see the house is green. So now you're in communication mode. I'm going to tap the maybe button. Maybe. It reads maybe out loud. And that's how we can edit a button. Now that I've created a few pages in my book that I'd like to navigate to easily, I'm going to create a navigator page. To do this, tap the pages button, tap the plus button, and then add a blank button page, the last button on this menu. It defaults to a four button page, but you can change the number of buttons 
by tapping the settings button and then selecting the number of buttons that you'd like on your page. You can also change the background color. I like to use swatches. And I'm gonna make this page purple just so it stands out from the other pages. Tap the settings button to close the menu. Now let's say I'd like to navigate from this categories navigator page to the food page that we created earlier. First, I would tap to add a button, and then I'm gonna tap the button text, and then I'm going to edit the button text. I'm going to name this food. Once you're done editing the text, press done. And as long as you don't wanna change the font, or the font color, press button text to close the menu. I'm going to add an image as we've done previously by tapping add image. I'm going to take an internet photo. I'm going to search for food. And then I'm going to tap the photo that I'd like on my button. To make the picture so it doesn't take up the whole button, I'm using the pinch gesture to resize the image. And I'm just using my finger to move the word food around. And now I'm going to press action in the upper left hand corner, the red button. As I mentioned before, this top row slides left to right. And I'm going to select the action, jump to page. Select the change button. And then you can select the page that you'd like to jump to. In this case, food one. I tap food one. And now it reads, jump to food one. I tap the action button again to close the menu. I press the done button to save my new button. You would continue to do this for any category that you wanted to navigate to easily from this new categories page. I want to make this page the home page. I'm going to rename it by tapping on the page title. I'm going to call it home. Then I'm going to save it by pressing done. And then to ensure that this home actually comes when you press the home button, I'm going to make it the first page in the page list. So I select the page list. I tap the edit button. I grab the three bars to the right of the word home and drag the page to the top of the list. This is now the first page in my book. Now I'm going to press done and the page button again. Now let's test this out in the player. Tap the home button and now tap player. The home button is green so I know I'm in the communication mode. And when I tap the food button it jumps to my food page as we programmed it to. If I tap a button on this page, it should speak out loud. Turkey, turkey. Which it does. To navigate back to the home page, I would simply press the home button and I go back to my category page. An alternative way of navigating between pages is to use the jump man. If I tap the jump man, it brings up a list of all of my pages. As you can see, it would be important to page name the pages accordingly with proper titles, and pictures to make it easy to navigate between them. Tap the jump man to close the menu. There are multiple ways to back up the communication device. The first one being using the backup button in the lower right hand corner. When you tap this button, it allows you to back up all of your information either via Dropbox, the computer, or Google Drive. That's up to you. 
To exit this menu, press Cancel. Another way would be to print the book and create a PDF or a paper form of the book. To do this, tap the name of the book down at the bottom, currently named Default Book. Here, a list of your different communication books will appear. You can select the Share button to the right of the book that you're interested in printing. And to print to paper, select Export PDF. This will bring up a share menu, and from here you can either save the file to your iPad, you can email it to yourself, or you can press print directly. From the print menu, if you have an AirPlay enabled printer, you would select your printer from the printer list, select the pages that you wanted to print, and then it would print them out as a hard copy, which you could take around with you wherever you went if the iPad wasn't available. To exit this page, press Cancel. And then just tap outside of the menu to close the default book menu. So those would be the great ways to back up the communication device.